At the 80th United Nations General Assembly, U.S. President Donald Trump has said, China and India are the primary funders of the ongoing war by continuing to purchase Russian oil. U.S. President Donald Trump met Pakistani Prime Minister and Foreign Minister on sidelines of United Nations General Assembly. U.S. President Donald Trump met leaders of Arab states, amid rumors of Arab states forming a NATO-style Arab military alliance. India will conduct its biggest drone exercise called Cold Start from 6th to 10th October. The Indian Army's 18th Rapid Division carried out a large-scale maneuver exercise along the Western Front towards Pakistan. Hyderabad-based Zen Technologies has launched India's first AI-enabled fast attack craft simulator for naval training. PTC Industries has commissioned a state-of-the-art VAR-400 furnace at the Lucknow node of the UP Defence Industrial Corridor, enabling production of large titanium castings for next-generation aero engines defence systems and space platforms. Special Blasts Limited will ramp up production of military-grade explosives to 8,000 metric tons per annum, up from the current 3,000 metric tons, to meet rising defence and strategic requirements. Tato Advanced Systems Limited has inaugurated a new state-of-the-art defense manufacturing facility in Morocco's Casablanca region. The 200-megawatt pressurized light water reactor developed by the Barb Atomic Research Center codenamed CLWR-62, is now ready for production and integration. The Indian Air Force is upgrading its 220 Mi-17 helicopters with new electronic warfare suites under a 2,385 crore rupees contract with Bharat Electronics Limited. The chairman of Hindustan Aeronautics has confirmed that the company will lease 12 Yeshas intermediate jet trainer aircraft to the Indian Air Force for revaluation. According to the Sunday Guardian, even an early 2030 induction of Chinese J-35 into the Pakistan Air Force appears doubtful, given the lack of a formal contract and the aircraft's developmental stage. Hindustan Aeronautics has received bids from Israel's Elbit Systems and Italy's Electronica, to co-develop a directed infrared countermeasure system for the Prachand, aimed at improving survivability against heat-seeking missiles. The Indian Air Force is in talks with Bharat Dynamics Limited to procure nearly 500 Astra Mark 1 air-to-air -air missiles for its expanding Tejas Mark 1A fleet, projected to cross 10 squadrons by 2032. Larson and Tubro and Bharat Electronics Limited have announced a strategic partnership to support the AMCA program. The consortium will respond to the expression of interest issued by the Aeronautical Development Agency in the coming weeks. Hal Chief has confirmed that Hindustan Aeronautics holds a 25% design share in the AMCA program, while Aeronautical Development Agency remains the lead agency. He also confirmed that Hal will play a major role in developing the new 120 kN thrust engine for the AMCA program, and aims serial production of the 120 kN engine at Hindustan Aeronautics Engine Division. The DRDO has launched a technology development fund project to design and develop an indigenous electromagnetic pulse rocket warhead with private industry, that will disable enemy electronics, communication networks, and sensors through high-intensity electromagnetic radiation. It will be integrated with platforms such as the guided Pinaka, intended for precision disruption of drones radars and command systems. As India's SSBN fleet expands with the induction of newer Rary Hunt class submarines and upcoming S5 class submarines, INS Rary Hunt will transition into a dedicated training role in the next five years, that will allow the Indian Navy to train future SSBN crews, test procedures, and reduce the operational burden on frontline deterrent platforms. Today's top 3 comments. Oh, Mark, drop it.